political reporter Andrew Lunn joins us live. Andrew, uh, who's feeling the biggest squeeze? Well, Pete, the situation's bad on the Pakenham, Cranbourne and Sunbury lines, but it's worst on the Craggyburn line, where 57.7% of commuters in the morning peak are being forced onto trains that breach government load standards. And that's despite Metro removing seats to make more room. Commuters may have suspected it. Now, a report with the proof. We're seeing increasing uh, overcrowding on many of our train lines. Figures released by Public Transport Victoria show across the network 27.7% of passengers are forced to squeeze onto overcrowded trains in the morning peak, with just over one in ten evening passengers packed onto trains that breach government load standards. It's further evidence as to why we just don't have a moment to lose in to getting rid of those dangerous dangerous congested level crossings. But contributing to the problem, the government's decision to scrap a planned timetable revamp. In the 12 months to May, no net additional services were added in either the morning or evening peaks. They've really gone slow on getting more trains onto the network. Metro's tried to make more room on existing trains, but with the transport franchise contracts due for renegotiation, Experts are calling for better transparency. There's five benchmarks in the contracts, three are uh, made behind closed doors and really for that amount of money those things really have to be in the public realm. This morning the acting Premier inspected the start of early works on the Metro Rail Tunnel which will eventually add extra capacity as opposition leader Matthew Guy joined the chorus calling on Canberra to fund the full 15% top up promised for the Port of Melbourne sale. If there's money owed to Victoria, it should come and it should come in full. Despite holding their press conferences next to key public transport infrastructure, today both Matthew Guy and Jacinta Allen chose to drive. I think if we saw more politicians using public transport more often, we might see some of these problems fixed a bit more quickly uh, if they were living it every day. Andrew Lund, Nine News.